Hey there folks, this is GreenXO welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, this is episode 47. What I did between the last steps and this one was did all those battles for um, the curse shield from this Paladin shield, which is amazing, the best shield in the game, quite possibly. I also gave the full shield to Edgar the day then, um, to save him from Edgar. So, other than that, everyone has learned loads of new spells. Including Mog, who didn't have hardly anything before, but for now we'll stick with Celeste, who's learned Ultima, which is going to be incredibly important throughout the rest of the game. Like I said, Mog, here it is. He's currently learning Blizzaga, Fyraga, Thundaga, that'll be amazing for him. Actually, he's learned Fyraga, because you learn it from another Esper as well, Phoenix. And he's. and Edgar's currently learning that. So. let's head off to the next destination. Where we're going next. Finally, folks, fly around on the airship for long enough and you'll come across this optional boss by here. What you're going to get out of it is an extra Esper, which gives a very good stat boost. Make sure your characters aren't a multiple of level 5, or they're going to die straight away in the battle, because he always starts off with level 5 death. Fortunately, we've only got Mog going down. Make sure to kill him as quickly as possible, get some haste. Some auto haste on your characters with the Hummy Sandals uh, relics. And make sure to have Ultima, which will do a hell of a lot of damage with Celeste and quite a lot of damage with Edgar by the looks of things as well. Let's have a look, about 5,000 should be. Yep, there we go, and Sabin will do a little bit of extra. I didn't get Ultima for Sabin yet, so he's not going to be doing as much as the other two, but he is doing a fair bit, you know. I didn't revive Mog just because. I wasn't sure if Death Gaze would cast level 5 death again, and if he did, Mog would just go straight back to level 2. I wasn't too bothered, to be honest. Fortunately, death missed by you. <laughs> yeah, this is a post commentary episode, just because this guy is so random, and I didn't want to... I didn't want to um, take up recording time with me just wandering around the, the world map, you know. Would have been annoying, because to find him, he is designated... Uh, tiny little pixel of the world map and you just gotta keep flying around until you hit that and you'll automatically go into the boss battle. I probably will have cut out um, until just before the boss battle to show you where I saw him on the map this time but it might not be every time. He can flee he can flee away from the battle if you aren't quick enough. So then you'll have to go around the whole world map trying to find him once again. So you really don't want that to happen. So just keep keep at it and You'll beat him somehow. <laughs> Get this somehow. So, that's all I've got to say about this boss, really. I don't know his health element of weaknesses and stuff. Fireworker seemed pretty effective, you know. Sabin has got the highest magic stat right now, so... Yeah, boss done. Not too bad, really. The hardest part is finding him all the time. And here's our little reward just randomly floats onto the ship. What is it? Something that's in every Final Fantasy game? Bahamut! Yes. I say every Final Fantasy game. I think it's in the originals, but as a boss, maybe? Bahamut? I can't quite think now. Anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's show you exactly what the stat boost is. It does teach you a spell as well, which we couldn't have learned yet, with the espers that we've collected so far. Flay, it's really good, deals non-elemental damage to when enemy can be reflected. HP plus 50% of your regular uh, stat boost. It's amazing at every level up. So I just gave it to Celeste. I don't know why. Anyway, heal up with a tent, I guess. Now, a lot of the rest... well... The next few episodes, at least, of this series are going to be very Sian based As in, we're going to be finding him, and we're going to be doing a little side questy thing to do with him. Which takes a little while, but... you know. Anyways. <laughs> I thought this... I thought this boss would take a lot longer than that. I thought I'd have to chase him down and everything again, so I wasn't expecting this episode to be so short. And because of that, I've extended it and made it so that we find Sion in this episode. Or oh, pretty much find Sion. Not quite. 
but we will be. We'll be getting there, you know. <laughs> anyway, back to Miranda. Uh, we haven't actually been here since the world we were in, have we? It looks quite nice. It looks grassy and trees and everything. And I spot. I thought you wasn't supposed to be able to have that in the world of ruin, but meh, whatever. I thought I'd check out the new armor shop and everything, but it doesn't seem like there's that much new. Black Garb and Magus robes are going to be good, but not really for our party right now. So I just bought one of each <laughs> for the sake of it. They're expensive though, 13,000 each. Really expensive. The weapon shop has something good as well, so let's have a look. Gravity rods will be handy, but right now we've got to keep our money, it's actually running low. So breakout will be good actually. Valkyans, I bought two of these. One for Edgar, one for Celeste, just because they're the only ones in our party right now. And uh, they're really good, they're a big strength boost. Yeah, let's just show that off. Take her magic down a bit, which is bad for her, but you know, she needs a bit more strength. And evasion as well, so sometimes blocks attacks. Might take her evasion up, but it also blocks attacks at the same time. Fuck it. I actually forgot to put this golden spear then onto Mog, which would have been a good idea, but... We'll do it for the next episode, you know. Anyway, in this house is where we really wanted to go. And we want to go in this house now. I'm sorry if the sound has gone a little bit funny now, because while I was recording, even this post commentary, it bug it up so forgive me for that anyway to get seen we're gonna start off by coming here and talking to Lola remember um can you remember somewhere where was it I'm trying to think of the name of the place oh, I've forgotten now anyway she is having a pen letter to Sian so how are we gonna find Sian by using the carrier pigeon outside to actually find his destination Send a letter for Lola? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> she seemed happy, jumping about. Anyways. This carrot pigeon on the left. Go on, Celeste, move. Go. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, folks. Anyway, here it is. It's going to show you exactly where it's seeing is. And that's where we're heading to next. It's going to be another dungeon. Which we'll actually pretty much finish in this episode. It's not a long one, in other words. Was it two stones and continents, wasn't it? There it is. Zozo. We haven't actually been to Zozo yet, have we? Um, since the world of ruin. So I thought <laughs> I thought maybe you'd be able to go right there, but it's up on a it's up on a ledge <laughs> to leave the place. Gone downstairs. There we go. So here we go, off to Zozo. Ah. This is the only time we'll be going to Zozo. There's not that much new going on there. It's still as wrecked as it ever seemed, and the enemies are all the same. Uh, in the town of Zozo, yeah. They're all the same in the town of Zozo. The amazing music back. All you got to do is talk to the pigeon. Now I'll tell you exactly where it is. It's just flown off. Past that door up there. You can't actually go up the door up there. You can go to the door, but it'll say that there's rusted shut. So, yeah, this is just going to show how weak the enemies are now compared to how they were. And, I mean, you can expect that. That was a quick clip, by the way. <laughs> we're not going to be dealing that much damage every turn. Not yet, anyway. Look how weak Mog is. Poor little Mog. Our little Moglet. But we just haven't got a better party member yet, and he can, you know, stop random, random encounters if we ever need to. Rust Ridge, Thousand Guild, sure. That's quite cheap, isn't it, now, by this point? I was, I was wondering about the dead body on the floor, you know. Celeste, Celeste actually uh, gained a level in that battle, and she learnt Berserk from levelling up. So she's still learning spells by levelling up, so long as you haven't already learnt the spells through Espers, you know. The right door is what I want to go through. And this is where we use the rust grid. Rust grid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time for the dungeon, Mount Zozo. This is a lovely place because we can't use physical attacks. The enemies have extremely high defense. And, and, 
the attack's just missed in general. I don't know I'm standing around. Oh yeah, okay. So what I did, because Mog isn't much good for anything but physical attacks, even with those new spells, you know, we don't want to be wasting MP on the regular encounters. I put the sniper eye on him so he can't miss, even with the enemies being a bit strange around here. New enemy coming up, a couple of them actually. Mugby, he's a little shit. He nicks about 8,000 gil off your character. And the only way to get it back is to quickly beat him and get the money back at the end of battle. So, if you use moves like Drill, Bushido, well, you're not going to have Bushido right now, but if you use moves like Drill, Blitz, then you still hit. You still definitely hit. Same with Magic, use Magic, you're going to hit. Look how much money it seems you have back now. Get ready. 13,724. But 8,000 odd of that is just what was mugged before, so. Red Cap is actually a really good piece of equipment. I chucked on Sabin. Well, hold on. <laughs> Here's, it gives you a 25% boost to your max HP. That's amazing. Might take your defense, magic defense on a bit, but it gives you a huge boost, so. I thought it was worth it. Anyways, I missed the chest chest, so I thought I'd pop one back up and get it, because it is worth getting, the ice shield. Now, while you can go to the Coliseum and bet it and get something better out of it, for now we might as well equip it, you know, just until that point comes. It takes up quite a few stats there, so you might as well. Whether I do upgrade it to the Coliseum... I don't know yet. Anyway, another enemy coming up. This guy, I never had much chance to find out what he does exactly. He doesn't get a chance. He doesn't have that much HP regardless of how big he is. And I think the enemies around here only have low-ish HP because you can't always hit with physical attacks, so they want to compensate for that. There he goes. Yeah, you get a lot of AP around here if you want to go for that. Quite a bit of money as well. Just not that much EXP. Not <laughs> Sabin and Ultimate in our battle, so we've got another character with Ultimate. When we need to use it. What I did next was chucked on Midgar, yeah, him, <laughs> for 50% HP at every level up. I thought it would be nice for him to have that, you know. Now just, just Thunder Shield. One more defense than the Ice Shield. Any point really? I don't know. But, you know, it protects against a, difference, a different element. That's the main thing about it. So yeah, that was nice. Yeah, anyway. So we just went all our way around. When I go on the main menu next, which is coming up now. <laughs> no, this how I put the green line in around the, the blue. I thought it, it was a nice change. I wish I'd done it from the start of the series now, to be honest, but a bit late for that. <laughs> I like it. I like the little bit of green. I almost went for the wood effect. The window, the whole window colour. But I thought that might have been a bit too much, so I just put a bit of green around it. Give me a suggestion if you want me to change the colours or anything, but by the time I upload these episodes, maybe it'll be a bit late for that. So I'm planning, I'm planning on recording a bit further ahead than what I upload, just because I'm going to have a couple of big busy weeks. So yeah. Cross the bridge to the other side of the mountain. This is... Uh, Pretty big dungeon, but not a long one, so the battles are really quick. And anyway, <laughs> Morg learnt uh, Thundaga and Blizzaga there, so that's nice. Gonna be learnt, learning what I put on it. Ultima? Okay. I was gonna be learning Ultima next. It's been pretty exciting. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we take on our third dragon. I think it's our third one, isn't it? Yeah, third dragon, and finish off his dungeon.